Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. If you've seen more than a few of my videos, you know that I'm always asking for advice and tips and tricks and help and information. And I ask you to email me, chris at perillo.com. And uh, you can email me right now if you want to. You done emailing me? Okay, fine. Uh, we got an email uh, from uh, uh, Firewire IRA on YouTube and says, Hey Chris, I thought I'd drop by and let you know about a cool site for a lot of the older software out there that I've been using for a while. I don't know if you'd be interested, but I thought I would let you take a look. Oldversion.com. Now, has this ever happened to you? You download a program and uh, you like it, you really enjoy it, and then the author uh, releases a new program and you upgrade to it and you realize, oh, this is horrible, oh, this is so bad. And you go to download the older program only to see that it's not there anymore. What to do now? Oldversion.com. They archive, incrementally, versions of popular software. So you could roll all the way back to possibly the first version of a program. Uh, and this is, I think, a fantastic resource. Uh, there's you know, certainly been times where even if I didn't upgrade to the latest, uh, I wanted to know if uh, you know I could get a hold of an older version of a program just because I've heard better things about it. And uh, there's a possibility that it may be available on oldversion.com. I don't know if I uh, necessarily call this uh, model really pursuing the abandonware market. And abandonware is software that's no longer being actively developed and uh, has uh, kind of let its license expire. It's not exactly freeware, not exactly shareware. It's just been abandoned. Uh, and abandonware, if you do a search for that on Google, you will turn up so many software classics and quite possibly some classics you may be able to run inside an emulator of sorts. Uh, you know, old software isn't bad software. Sometimes the latest isn't always the greatest. Um, I know uh, so many uh, popular software titles that uh, had, a, you know, a better experience in their earlier days. And as they got bigger and more popular, they got kind of suckier. And uh, I mean, think about the, your favorite programs and are they always getting better or are they progressively getting worse? Well, you know, turn to old version and you may be able to uh, make a side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, now, this is likely going to be only for the world of shareware or freeware or, well, I suppose open source software, although repositories have uh, some amount of uh, different kind of uh, archiving mechanism. This is largely for uh, people use their own archives uh, or have their own websites uh, where they would host their own downloads. Uh, so this is a fantastic resource. Don't ever question whether or not it's okay to email me with a really cool website, no matter how old or new it is. If it's interesting and it's beneficial to the community, then I would love to share it. Again, my email address is chris at Perillo. Dot com. I may not respond to your email, but believe me, I see them all. You can send me an email on YouTube, but it's I'm not going to see them that frequently. I just because YouTube is not where I check my email. I've got a Facebook account, I don't check my email there. I've got a MySpace page, but I don't check my email there. It's, I just check my email, Chris at Perillo.com. You're also free to embed this video if you care to share it with the rest of the world. I would appreciate that. Spread the word. Um, even though there's only going to be one version of this video. Uh, which is a good thing because there's nothing to roll back to and uh, if there was an old version for this video uh, it would probably suck. do I check my Facebook wall eh I don't know Facebook to me is interesting but that's a completely different video altogether in fact I think we've done a MySpace versus Facebook comparison before I don't know do you do you well anyway uh, well I, I, I gotta I gotta move along because there are people chatting in the chat room and I'm sure we're gonna go off on a discussion on this uh, but if you uh, want to join us anytime, day or night, we're typically talking tech. Sometimes we're talking social networks, sometimes we're talking software, sometimes we're talking games, sometimes we're talking internet, sometimes we're asking questions, sometimes we're answering questions, but it's always happening live, 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.